It's a big battle for Himachal Pradesh. It may be a small state, but the stakes are very high indeed. The BJP is hoping to buck anti-incumbency and the trend of change of government after every five years. The Congress, on the other hand, is hoping that people will stick with that tradition of changing governments. One problem for both parties, both BJP and Congress, happens to be the sheer number of rebel candidates, folks who have been denied tickets by mainstream parties, both the BJP and the Congress, and are standing as independents. But first, the story of the small hill state, but how? For the Himachal Pradesh elections, over 55 lakh people across the state are casting their vote. In fact, 400 plus candidates are in the fray. There are 68 assembly seats. The aim for the BJP in particular is not just capturing power in the Hill State, but also a chance to append what has been the state's political tradition so far of voting out the incumbent. Having done it once in Uttarakhand just earlier this year, the BJP is hoping that it can bank on Prime Minister Narendra Modi's popularity, its development agenda and the lack of a popular opposition face. The state has so far seen a bipolar contest between the BJP and the Congress with this tradition of voting out the incumbent government every five years. Let's listen in to some reactions from uh, senior leaders of both the BJP and the Congress who cast their vote today. सबसे पहला सवाल जो देश जानना चाह रहा कहा जा रहा है कि रिवाज और परंपरा परंपरा ये है एक बार वो एक बार आप इस बार ये रिवाज नया होगा परंपरा टूटेगी क्या बिल्कुल राज वही रहेगा रिवाज बदलेगा परंपरा टूटेगी नए तरीके से लोग देखने का अंदाज बना है जिस तरीके से पांच साल बीजेपी ने काम किया है उसको लोग समर्थन देने के लिए आतुर है मोदी जी के प्रति अर्थात प्रेम अटूट विश्वास का विकास प्रदेश को अपॉर्चुनिटीज इंटरनेशनल लेवल के इंस्टीट्यूट का आना यहाँ इन्वेस्टमेंट होना मेन स्ट्रीमिंग होना इसको वो अपने विकास के साथ जोड़ के दे सारे चुनाव अहम होते हैं मैं बहुत कोई दिल लगाने वाला व्यक्ति नहीं हूँ इसलिए ये मेरे लिए जिम्मेवार का विषय है और मैं जिम्मेवार का विषय हाँ यहाँ से मैं पला बढ़ा 20 साल एमएलए रहा तो यहाँ की लोकल चीजों को और गहराई से जानता हूँ पुरानी पार्टी है कुछ तो वोट उनको आएंगे आएंगे लेकिन कोई वो सरकार बनाने की स्थिति में हो ऐसा नहीं है वो तो खुद का अपना अपना चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं को प्रदेश का चुनाव तो लड़ कौन ये मामला दिखता है आपको बिल्कुल नहीं लड़ाई सीधे कांग्रेस के साथ है और आम आदमी पार्टी आई पीछे गई पहले तो वो तो जमान जब्त होगी उनकी सब जगह कांग्रेस से लड़ाई होगी हम जीतेंगे How do you plan to change the rivaz in Himachal? The history is five years. Look, in the whole Himachal Pradesh, the Bharati Janata Party has done a good job. The state has also and the government has also. And in the case of COVID, we have been in COVID vaccination number one. We have been talking about the cylinder of every woman who has given a cylinder or given a cylinder of 5,000,000 people in Himachal Pradesh. Farmers and especially the apple growers the central government has imposed the maximum import duty on the import of apples. That is one. Second is the GST issue which we have promised in our manifesto. That will take care of the additional 6% which is above 12%. It is the Congress who should be blamed for this. And they have been making false promises in the past also to give employment at least 1% in, in each family. And the unemployment allowance apart than the waiver of the farmer loan. They never delivered on that. So, so people know their real face, that they make fake promises. All right, let me go across to my colleague Arun Dhanta, who's joining us live from Hamirpur in Himachal Pradesh. Uh, so, where is the voter turnout ended uh, as far as uh, the elections are concerned? Uh, and most importantly, what is the X factor? What is the one thing that worries both the BJP and the Congress? Well, uh, Zaka, 5.30 was the official time of election commission of uh, voting to, uh, to close and uh, now election commission people are uh, into, you know, compiling the detail as to what is going to be the final, uh, you know, percentage of uh, voting. As far as the issues are concerned in Himachal Pradesh, uh, in fact, I've been traveling extensively in various districts of Himachal Pradesh and uh, what I have realized, two or three important issues uh, which uh, were not going uh, 
in favor of incumbent bjp especially the ops old pension scheme and of course secondly unemployment uh, inflation and uh, the, uh, the the apple uh, you know product gst these three the two or three issues have been uh, you know very disturbing for bharatiya janata party in fact uh, if you see the manifesto of uh, congress party the first thing which they uh, mentioned in the manifesto is the ops that within a week uh, after forming the government they will be bringing old pension scheme back into the state because they know that it has around two and a half uh, lakh families attached with it and also the youngsters who are preparing uh, to get into the government services so uh, the number is pretty big and therefore uh, they have mentioned this thing in their manifesto at the top and of course there is another uh, factor which many people are not considering but independents are going to be uh, you know a huge role uh, to play in this entire uh, election of himachal pradesh bjp uh, is in a little worrying situation because they have 21 rebel candidates contesting so there are three or four independents who are in a winning position and few uh, three or four you can say which can actually disturb the entire equation of uh, the bjp candidate so uh, results will be you know very uh, very very difficult to measure at this moment it appears that it's a neck to neck cont contest between congress and uh, bjp bjp has been uh, you know uh, campaigning on the fact that uh, they have uh, brought aims to himachal pradesh mm -hmm. uh, there there are various schemes of central government which has worked well in himachal pradesh uh, ujwala scheme him care scheme health care schemes various other educational front uh, they have brought iit uh, nit in the state so they are going on this plank and of course also the face of prime minister modi and that was the reason why you yeah. seen zaka uh, on on 9th prime minister modi uh, writing that letter to the people of himachal pradesh and uh, asking them you know to vote on lotus so that the vote directly uh, you know strengthen prime minister modi so prime minister modi knows the value of his face and also the state bjp knows that how important it is it is for them to have that uh, prime minister's face face at the forefront to get the better results this time in 2022 so that so they can change the history pattern in himachal pradesh well, which uh, let's talk a